Hey guys, it's Tilly, and today I'm here with the Totally Should Off book tag. I wasn't tagged by anyone in particular, but I've watched a few of these videos and I really wanted to do it, so hey. I'm doing it. So it's a series of 11 questions and I will get started. So the first question is totally should have gotten a sequel. And I might have to go with Where by Meg Caddy, mostly because like I am amazed at how much I grew to love the characters in this book just within these pages and then to have them finish at the end of this book and all I really want is to know more about the characters and this world and enjoy the writing and so yeah I would really really want a sequel for this because I just would be so interested in what happened afterwards. Question number two, we have totally should have had a spin-off series. And for me, I just have to think of my favorite character who isn't the main character in the book. And it's easy, like I would like to have a spin-off series featuring Isabel doing everything that she does great. She kind of is a main character. I feel like Isabel's gonna have a spin-off series soon. Like so far Cassandra Clare has just written all these short stories and other books about other characters, but I think that Izzy deserves to have her own very soon, please Cassandra. Please. Number three, an author who totally should write more books. Easy peasy, it is Marcus Zusak who is my all-time favourite author. He has three books out and he's been writing his fourth one for a very long time and it feels like it has been way, way too long since he announced that he was writing something and it is slowly, very slowly killing me because I just need my dose of Zuzak. His writing is absolutely phenomenal and a lot of people only know him for The Book Thief, but I definitely recommend you guys to read I Am The Messenger as well. It is a contemporary book and it is like amazing. I loved it. It is very different from this, but yeah, it is still fantastic. Like it's amazing Marcus Zuzak writing. So yeah, write more books, Marcus. Write them. Number four, a character who totally should have ended up with someone else. This will contain spoilers for Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. If you guys don't want to hear them, block your ears now or mute me and I will give you a thumbs up once I am done with the spoilers. So count down. Three, two, one. Manon and Alid. They should be together, not with the terrible guys that they have been paired with. And although I guess Dorian isn't terrible, I just don't think that Dorian and Manon are good together. Neither is Lorcan and Elite. Like, Lorcan is a terrible human, fey guy. <laughs> but I definitely ship Manon and Elite. Go girls! And uh, number five totally should have ended differently. I'm kind of hoping that if I just keep using different editions of this book, you guys won't notice that I'm using it more than once in this video. I don't want to say spoilers about this. I know it has been a book that's been out for like over 10 years and it's a movie too, but this should have ended differently. Certain characters should not have died. Let's just put it that way because it was horrible and unfair. And I could cry if I really thought about this. Number six, totally should have had a movie franchise. And my first thought is to do Percy Jackson and just let it be redone with a good movie. But if I had to pick one that hasn't had it at all, I would go with... I can't pick between two books. I'm going to have to say The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stavotter and Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens because these are both amazing. I would be a little worried that the movie would be terrible and they wouldn't do it justice. But at the same time, it'd be so amazing to see something that you love go up onto that big screen and be known, like, widely. So yes, these two. Number seven, totally should have had a TV show. <laughs> The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. This I can see being an actual amazing TV show with the characters and all the details and everything and please petition for it. Let's make Cinder a TV show with amazing diverse cast and stick to the book word for word and it will be fantastic. Please somebody produce this. Number eight, totally should have had only one point of view. I found this one super hard because most of the books that have dual perspective is like needed for it. So I'm gonna have to say We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach because I found some of the characters in this to be super boring compared to others and I didn't really care for their point of view as much as some and so yeah, let's go with that one. Number nine, totally should have a cover change and this, ooh, 
let me just hold up. The Vampire Academy books by Rochelle Mead because their covers are just like I look at them and they're so weird. I just find the covers to be kind of outdated and some of the later ones in the series are kind of really awkward to like have on the cover like Spirit Bound here it's like he's going in for the kiss and she's trying to dodge it casually and I don't know I think that they could do much nicer covers. Number 10 totally should have kept the original covers. And the first one that comes to mind is the new Bone Season look that they're going for. But I don't own that, so I'm going to pick one that is a different cover. I don't even know which one of these is the original edition. But having so many editions is really confusing for people like me who had ordered these online and did not know that they were all different editions. And that is the Chaos Walking Trilogy, which I do have. Um, in all of these formats. Isn't it great? They look amazing on my shelf. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I don't even like really hate any of those covers. I kind of just wish that they all matched. And for the last question, we have question 11. Totally should have stopped at book one. I'm gonna have to go with the selection by Kiera Cass. They should have firstly stopped at book one, and then they should have stopped at book three, and yet they still continued until book five. I don't know why. They're not horrible books, I just think that there's a lot of plot holes in them, and the storyline is kind of not the greatest. But at the same time, I can definitely see how people like it. They are quick, binge-worthy reads. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave people that I tag in the information section down below. It also has all my social media links down there too, so feel free to check out any of those. And thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. And until then, have a lovely bookish day, and I hope that great things happen to you. I am so ashamed that I have not yet finished this series, and that is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stebutter. I have all the books. I have even The Raven King.